أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today I lecture we will be talking about basic methods and results of statistical mechanics This is new chapter of the co from the course outline of statistical mechanics having the course code of PHY231 In today lecture our basic objective is to understand the basic methods that are used in statistical mechanics we will also need to go through the position function and its use in statistical mechanics and finally at the end of the lecture we will discuss the concept of entropy and probability and its use in statistical mechanics uh, first we come across the historical introduction of statistical mechanics which has been developed by Maxwell, Boltzmann, Clashes and Gibbs so if question arises that if we have individual molecule, how there there be pressure or enthalpy, and how we can treat the system? So this we will answer this like this question in today's lectures. So we need to understand some of the basic concepts and statistical mechanics from the very beginning, and the ideas of statistical mechanics. The idea behind that is the macroscopic properties. Uh, a thermal average of the microscopic property. Statistical mechanics is somehow a different approach of explaining the same phenomena from microscopic from microscopic level. What we are considering in general case in thermodynamics that is the microscopic approach. We understand, we try to understand the phenomena or the processes that are contributing to some, some properties from the microscopic level and if we, if we can modify, if we know the cause of any properties we can modify the property uh, by changing its microscopic values so for this purpose we need to replace the system with a set of systems that are identical to the first and average or all the, all of the systems so we, co we, we consider this system to be a type of statistical ensemble of that systems so if you are treating a system, what is the first step? That we need to divide our, that particular system into small systems or in, in other case we need to replace the system uh, by a set of systems that are identical to the first system and that has the average or all of all the system and this particular system is considered to be the statistical ensemble of that system. Uh, so we need to have identical system that actually means that they are all in the same thermodynamic states so that systems are considered to be type of identical systems so for this purpose and for the calculation we need to consider an ensemble or the assembly of system for that particular case so basically there are three different sort of X ensemble we have a micro canonical ensemble uh, the example of microcanonical ensembles are isolated systems that are non attracting system is not interacting with these with the surrounding is not exchanging mass or energy uh, with the surrounding we have canonical ensemble that is another sort of ensemble that is the systems with a fixed number of molecules in equilibrium with the height bath that that particular ensembles are called as a canonical ensemble fixed number of molecules and it is in equilibrium with the heat path and the third type of ensemble is the current canonical ensembles and these are actually system in equilibrium with a source of heat uh, and a he a heat path which is also a source of molecules and their chemical potential is fixed that is particular cases called as a grand canonical ensemble so all the thermodynamic property can be calculated with any ensemble. So for this purpose, we need to choose one of the most convenient process that is actually the PVT properties for gases that is pressure, volume and temperature for canonical ensemble and similarly vapor liquid equilibrium for, for a type of grand canonical ensembles. So the property of the canonical and the grand canonical ensemble could be calculated and it is actually give short that the ensemble average was equivalent to the state of average and we can calculate that this uh, ensemble average equal to the state average 
and here in this case pn actually represent the probability that the system is in any particular configuration en say for example if we have n microstate or n, n states are possible so in this case pn represent that the system uh, might be in any of its uh, particular configurations so the property of the can canonical enzyme but could be calculated in the and the pn value could be calculated from this equation that pn is equal to gn e to the power minus beta un uh, divided by q uh, n uh, e power uh, so this is the type of can for canonical ensembles so if we write the same equation the same value of p that is actually uh, uh, the probability that the system probability for any particular case so if we look toward the same value for the, for, for the sort of grand canonical so the equation will be like this that pn should be equal to gn e to the power exponent and uh, minus beta en divided by q and in this case the heat that is the q that is in the grand canonical ensembles uh, we can calculate the value of en for a simple equation that is equal to un minus uh, meter by uh, by mu uh, mu n so we are coming toward the partition function that what is partition if, if we look the same thing uh, in, in canonical and grand canonical so we can write the partition function in analog in canonical to be uh, q that is power n and the subscript canon we just write to represent the q to is uh, that is the amount of uh, partition for the partition function in canonical uh, that is called as canonical partition function and q grand is called as a grand canonical partition function the value of both q uh, canonical and q grand canonical is given here uh, for q canonical's value is the summation of n g n e power minus beta u n and for the case of grand canonical it should be the summation of n g n e power minus beta e n this value uh, what is actually partition function if we, if we actually know the volume temperature and energy levels of a system we can calculate we can easily calculate the partition function of that systems and if we know the uh, t and the partition function we can calculate the all the almost all the thermodynamic property of that particular systems and it also links uh, the, the partition function also link make a linkage between the uh, statistical mechanics and thermodynamics so statistical mechanics actually provides a link uh, uh, between the quantum and thermo as uh, the type of uh, working like a barrier or a bridge in between the statistic and between thermodynamics and quantum mechanics so if you know the energy level you can calculate the partition function and then calculate the thermodynamic property of that particular system so this is something the statistical mechanics can do and the partition function can play a wider role in these processes so the partition function easily calculate from uh, cal calculate from the properties of the molecules in a system that are actually the property in this particular case are the energy levels the atomic masses and etc so the we have convenient thermodynamic variables uh, so if we know the uh, properties of all the molecules you, we can calculate the partition function i mean if we know the property we can get the value of partition function and from this we can calculate other thermodynamic property of that system this is one of the beauty of that that by calculating the partition function we can we can calculate the other property of the thermodynamics so how we can get the thermal average uh, with partition function uh, this will take some mathematical steps and that is uh, represented here here s is equal to minus kb that is summation pn uh, ln uh, pn divided by gn uh, here uh, we can get the value of a that is a very simple case just like a simple case of partition function that a should be equal to minus kbt natural log of n and that is a uh, uh, qn uh, and uh, uh, qn and its value should be equal to here and uh, here we can we can get the uh, value of uh, sigma n ln uh, qn that that should be the average of u and from that we can get the value of s minus uh, del a divided by del t or a and from that uh, we can get the simple equation of partition function for, for what which is equal to k 
के बी नेचर लाग ऑफ क्यू दैट इज इकोनॉमिकल एंड आफ्टर मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ पी फ्रॉम हेयर एंड द पी वैल्यू इज डिस्क्राइब हेयर पी इजिकल टू करली बाई करली वी इन टू ए वेन बोथ टी एंड एन आर कॉन्स्टेंट क्वान्टिटी द सेम थिंग इज इक्वल टू के बी टी curly uh, natural log of q n divided by curly v t of n here the value of n is equal to uh, curly by curly mu of u n uh, tv that is equal to kbt uh, curly by uh, curly uh, natural log uh, n q grand canonical and that is equal to this quantity and mu is equal to curly by curly n a and that is equal to kbt natural log of uh, Like the Q N, and from that we can get S, the value of S, uh, which is equal to curly by curly T P V, when V and mu are a constant quantity. The same thing is modified here, and we can get this equation over here, uh, where we can get K B T is equal to uh, curly divided by curly T is equal to Q grand canonical for this particular case, and we can get the value of uh, over here. so canonical example uh, have its own partition function and that's uh, have a different value from that and from that we can get the uh, uh, once we calculate the partition function we can we can we can treat the system statistically and we can apply the four steps on that and if we look toward the four steps the first step was describing the system the second step was uh, we need to describe the uh, ensemble that is actually statistical ensemble so once we know the statistical ensemble of that particular system whether it is canonical it is grand canonical or is micro canonical uh, we can apply in the second step as the uh, postulate of probability the postulate of probability actually de describe that all the accessible states are equally probable and uh, from that we can we can get the results of classical thermodynamics and uh, plus their statistical uh, understanding and furthermore we we also uh, uh, we can calculate the thermodynamic parameter uh, that is the internal energy enthalpy and uh, Uh, entropy and some other property of that systems from a single uh, statistical parameter the partition function z which may be obtained from the energy levels uh, scheme for for that particular quantum system so the partition function for a quantum system is in contact with the heat bath could be given by an exponential function and that is the summation of that value that z should be equal to i uh, exponent of minus i divided by kt where i is the energy of i at uh, particular states so the partition function for a quantum system in contact with the heat bath is uh, z is equal to i exponent of minus e i divided by kt where e i is the energy of i at states so the connection to the microscopic thermodynamics uh, uh, is actually uh, made by the partition function and uh, uh, here we also need to know that the entropy also play, play a vital role to the microscopic parameters which is known as the thermodynamic degeneracy or statistical advantage of that system and that actually gives us the microstate in a given uh, macrostates so the connection between the thermodynamics and the uh, statistical me mechanics is made by the boltzmann principle and that is very simple principle that s is equal to k natural log of omega so this is actually the basic relationship between the statistical mechanics and thermodynamics on one side we have statistical variable on other side we have thermodynamic variable so s is equal to k uh, natural log of omega is a god of blotman uh, uh, understanding so we have relation of uh, z to macroscopic parameter z is actually the partition function that how we can um, correlate the partition function with the uh with the thermodynamic property that are actually the macroscopic parameter so once we can get the value of z we can further evaluate the value of uh, uh, microscopic parameter from that if we look toward the uh, uh, mu how we can relate z is actually the partition function so we can relate u that is the average internal energy of that system is equal to minus 
curly divided by curly beta nature log of z if you modify that will be like 1 over z curly z by curly beta and in this case the specific heat at constant volume is given to be uh, c uh, del u square divided by kt square and in this case beta is equal to 1 over kt where k, uh, k is equal to Boltzmann constant and uh, s is equal to kb uh, average of mu plus uh, k natural log of z and uh, in this case uh, average actually is uh, for, for large systems now we came uh, we are coming towards the f that is the halep holes function of this particular systems that could be easily calculated f is equal to u minus ts and uh, that is equal to minus if we put the value of s over here so what will happen it will be like uh, uh, minus kt nature log of z when it is modified and we have another equation that df is equal to s dt minus p dv and from this equation we can obtain that s is equal to minus curly f divided by curly t into v and p is equal to minus curly f divided by curly v into t when t is when the temperature is constant and the other uh, micro microscopic parameter are linked like g is equal to f plus pv uh, that is equal to pv minus kt nature log of z or h is equal to h u plus pv that is equal to PV minus uh, uh, curly by curly beta into diagonal log of Z. So if we consider the same things, the same uh, system that have n particle, uh, and that is uh, might be distinguishable or indis indistinguishable. So how we can use the partition function for that? If we have Z is equal to Z key power n for distinguishable particles just like solids. So how we can treat the systems? And if you have Z for, for indistinguishable particle like fluid, how we can treat the system? We can develop the partition function for that. Uh, so coming toward the distinguishable case, we can solve the equation for that. For this particular case, F is equal to NF. Uh, capital nf and that should be equal to minus kt nature log of z power n or that should be equal to minus nkt nature log of z so for this case f is equal to minus uts and uh, s should be equal to u minus f divided by t when it is simplified so if we use the same thing for indistinguishable particles so what will be the behavior of that uh, in this case f is equal f, f should be equal to minus kt uh, natural log of uh, z power n divided by n factorial and uh, when it is modified it will be like uh, minus kt natural log of z power n minus uh, natural log of uh, 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 n factorial and that is further modified to give the simple skills so if we have large value of n so we can use some other theorem that uh, modify the natural log of n factorial should be equal to n natural log of n minus n so this will be further modified and we can get the value of s that is curly f divided by curly t when volume is constant and p should be equal to curly f divided by curly v when the temperature is a constant quantity so similarly we can get the mean energy and heat capacity of the particles that are involved in that system and some equations are standard equations are used for that keep in mind the constant quantity what we are using beta throughout the lecture is uh, a constant quantity and that is equal to 1 over kt k is a constant quantity and t is the temperature of that particular systems so this is some of the expression for any particular systems uh, when we are calculating the mean energy and heat capacity of that uh, here this this is cv represent the heat capacity at constant volume and u represent the mean energy of that particular systems uh, let's come toward the entropy and probability uh, and for this purpose we need to consider an example of n uh, replicas of a system so if the probability of finding a member in this particular state of r is pr so we, how we can get the uh, system that would be found in any of the R state that is actually n R should be equal to n into PR uh, if for large value of n we, we use n factorial so this is a simple equation for that s n is equal to k uh, natural log of n into n factorial that should be modified by the previous equation what we mentioned that is actually called a Stirling theorem and this is the simple constant for that the natural log of n factorial should be equal to almost equal to n natural log of n minus n and that is further modified to get the single 
probability so we can get some example from uh, daily life about that is the example one about the micro canonical ensemble for large and identical isolated systems and for the thermodynamic system as well we have some thermodynamical parameter for that and that make a connection simply similarly this is thermodynamic parameter this is this sorry this is a statistical parameter this is thermodynamic parameter and this is making the connection between statistical and thermodynamic variable uh, variable and this is the equilibrium condition for this we have another particular configuration for ensemble which is making a relationship between the thermodynamic and statistical variable this is another example for any particular ensemble in making the relationship between the grand uh, partition function of uh, that particular case uh, in the case of grand canonical ensemble in this case we have a canonical ensemble and in this case we have micro canonical ensemble so we have both ensemble this is micro canonical ensemble this is canonical ensemble calculation for the canonical ensemble and this is for the grand canonical ensemble calculation for that so the statistical ensemble actually describe the uh, all particular uh, properties of that in phase space when we have a six and a variable for for the degree of freedom and we can calculate their uh, particular degree of freedom so this is a simple uh, lecture about the micro canonical ensemble grand canonical ensemble and uh, uh, canonical ensemble and its uh, properties and explanation is already uh, provided here so thank you very much for today lecture